hello everyone today i am going to show you guys about how you can create this folding door of a fully parametric family in revit as you can see in this video that you can change the angle of these panels of this folding door at any angle between 0 to 90 degrees and all of the panels will move according to that you can uh, change the angle to 60 degree to 30 degree to 45 degree at any angle at which you want it to be displayed in your project file you can also change the height and width of this folding door as you can see and the panel design will uh, adjust according to those dimensions but before we start let me ask you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start the tutorial open the family template file for the door as here and open it let's reduce its size of the dimensions okay now uh, let me change the height to 2500 millimeter and width to 3200 millimeter then go to the interior elevation and here i am going to remove these lines as we don't need them now select the sweep command in the uh, create tab and first of all uh, define the sketch path make sure to lock these three sides delete this fourth line and then click ok go to the reference level floor plan click on edit profile and draw the profile for this this is basically the frame of the folding door with the help of align lock these dimensions with the uh, lock these uh, lines with the profile lines as you can see and then click ok with the help of join command join the exterior and the interior frame uh, extrusions and then uh, place a reference line here lock it at a 25 millimeter and also align it lock it with the help of align line as you can see in the video Now select this reference line in the create tab and place a reference line like this at an angle of 45 degrees. Then click on it, uh, show its dimension, select the dimension and assign parameter of width of panel to it. You can name it anything you want. Okay, after that open this tab and in here add a formula for the width of panel which is width minus 50 millimeter. Uh, the 50 millimeter is basically to, uh, the 25 millimeter frame thickness on both sides and then divide it by 4 because we are going to create 4 panels for this folding door after that uh, with the help of a line command select the reference plane and then click the blue dot and again for the blue dot to appear press tab button on the keyboard and then lock it down now place an angular dimension between the reference line and the reference plane like this and assign the parameter of angle to this angle and then let's change it to 45 degrees now repeat this exact same process on the right side as well place a reference line and align it with the help of uh, align command and also assign the parameter of uh, panel width width of panel to its length and place an angular dimension between the reference line and the reference plane and also align this reference plane 
with the blue dot and this reference plane with this blue dot to make the blue dot appear press tab button on the keyboard as you have moved the cursor at the corner now place three vertical reference planes on this right side as you can see and place a dimension here and place another dimensions like this here now select this dimension and assign the parameter of adjacent to it and select these dimensions and assign the parameter of opposite to it now you can see that we have a right angle triangle with the adjacent a hypotenuse and this opposite side so let's add the formulas for the adjacent in the parameters tab the formula for the adjacent is hypotenuse into cos theta and we know the value of hypotenuse we know the value of theta and with the help of it we can know the value of adjacent so open this uh, dialog box and in the adjacent parameter enter the formula width of parameter is basically the hypotenuse and multiply it by cos theta and theta is the angle then write the formula like this and then click ok and you can see that the reference plane is moved till you have achieved a right angle triangle and for this opposite we have the formula hypotenuse into sine theta so uh, open the parameters dialog box and enter the formula in the opposite which is the it's hypotenuse for this smaller uh, right angle triangle is 40 millimeter uh, which is basically the thickness of the panel door and then multiply it by sine theta and theta is the angle so write the formula like this and then click ok now place another reference plane for the third panel door like this create this line okay then align this reference plane with this blue dot and align this reference plane with this blue dot and make sure to lock the this and then assign the angular parameter of angle to this uh, between this reference plane and the reference line and assign the length parameter which is the width of panel to this reference line as well now I am going to place another reference line which will, which would be for the fourth the panel door and it is like this click it assign the length parameter to this reference plane and then as you have as you can see, you have seen in the previous uh, in the previous panels and also assign the angular parameter and lock this reference plane uh, lock this reference plane with this blue dot now place two vertical reference planes like this and then assign place the dimensions within this between these reference planes like this and assign the parameter of adjacent to both of the both of them okay so now we have successfully assigned the parameters in the floor in the in this floor plan and for the folding door and you can see that when you change the angle in this dialog box the reference planes and the reference lines move along with those with the information which we have provided so it is now all of our reference planes and the reference lines are ready for the uh, panel door for us to create the panel door so for that select the select this reference plane of the reference line and after selecting the extrusion command and assign and create the plan for the single panel door as you can see then go to the interior tab interior elevation and drag it till you reach this line click ok then 
assign a place a reference plane here and lock it at 25 millimeter as you can see in the video Again select the extrusion tab, extrusion command in the create tab, set the reference plane to this uh, reference line and create the profile as you can see in the video, give the thickness to 40 millimeter. Now click OK, go to interior elevation and drag this elevation till you reach this side and click and lock it so in this uh, by repeating this process you can create the other two the third and fourth panels for this folding door as well Now here we have our simple folding door family but it does not have any sort of design so now let's create a simple design within the panels of this folding door. Go to the interior elevation. I have set the angle of the doors at 0 degrees and here I am going to place some re horizontal reference planes as according to the design. So let's do that. After placing the reference planes, I have locked these two reference planes at a distance of um, 100 mm and these two reference planes and here and this bottom one at 200 mm as you can see in the video. Then I have placed some dimensions uh, like this and I have assigned the parameter to them as the height of glass. But when you assign the parameter to these two dimensions, uh, it gives an error, cancel it and for that uh, delete this height parameter as you cannot assign these two different types of parameters to the same reference planes and now assign this height of class parameter to this dimension now assign a formula to this height of to this height of class parameter for that you can see that i have some fixed dimensions here which add up to 600 millimeter so for that type a formula which is height minus 600 millimeter divided by 3 because we have three uh, three we have three parts okay and the height is being 2500 millimeter and when you see the distance it should be 2500 millimeter but it adds up to 2525 25 being the thickness of the frame above so now just 
add check, give this change to this formula as height minus 625 millimeter divided by 3 and now you can see that these dimensions the distance between them is 2500 millimeter which is correct set the angle of panel door at 45 degrees and now set the reference plane to this side of the panel door and you should have select the white extrusion and now let's create some design for the white extrusion and make sure to lock the sides with the horizontal reference planes and then go to the 3d and here assign select this and then select this line then select this line and select this side of the door then select both of these dimensions use control button for multiple selection and assign the parameter side width to these uh, dimensions now open this tab and here assign the formula for the side width which is width of panel divided by 2.8 so we will have a fixed distance of glass for our panel doors now now uh, with the help of triangle draw a rectangle like this and then lock these dimensions uh, as you can see so basically we, we are locking it with the uh, with the horizontal reference planes and with the uh, with the profile of the above extrusions and then give it the extrusion and value of 40 millimeter click ok so now we have created voids within the panel door now again select the void extrusion set the reference plane to this side of the surface for that to appear press tab button on the keyboard as you have moved the cursor there and again draw the profile for the void extrusion as you can see in the video To place the dimensions you should move in the 3D because these are placed at an angle of 45 degrees. The panels are placed at an angle of 45 degrees so uh, place the dimensions in the 3D like this set. Select the surface then select this line then select this line and select this surface and then assign the parameter of side width to these dimensions. and while repeating this process create the openings in the other two panels as well
now go to the uh, interior elevation select the extrusion command set the reference plane to this surface press tap it on the keyboard for to select this surface and then draw the rectangle like this and lock these four sides we are doing this step to pray uh, to place the glass within these voids make sure to lock all the four sides and then give an extrusion and value of minus 25 millimeter and an extrusion start value of minus 15 millimeter to place the glass exactly at the center of the panel now be this step for the other three panels as well So our design for the panel door is complete. Now select these extrusions to assign the material parameter to them from here and we, let's name it wood and then select these uh, extrusions for the class and assign the material parameter of material parameter to them. Let's name it class. So now our family design is complete. It is ready to be loaded into the project and you can see that it is fully parametric. You can change the angle uh, from 0 to 90 degrees uh, and you can also change the height and width of this folding door family according to your requirements, according to your designs. So as you can see in the video. I have changed it 30 degrees to 60 degrees to 45 to 90 degrees any at any given angle. so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe